aren't we all just guessing? That is to say, isn't certainty about anything just outside of our reach? I don't know. What do you think? How do you go about the business of answering that question without answering that question? Now, friends, I want to suggest to you that there is a great deal of overlap between the agnostic and the atheist. The agnostic is the one who says, we don't know if there's a God. The atheist is the one who says, we know there is no God. In both instances, neither person would have any reason uh, to submit to uh, the law of God. Uh, but there's also significant differences. I appreciate the subtle distinction, but important distinction, between a certainty that something isn't and the certainty that one can't be certain that something is. They both, however, say, have the same kind of problem, and that is an assertion of certainty. The same thing applies to our question. Uh, aren't we all just guessing? Well, if the answer is yes, we're making an affirmation. If the answer is uh, no, then, well, that gets off the table. We don't have to worry about it anymore. But the claim that we are all just guessing is actually a truth claim. It's a claim to know something. I find it interesting that just in the same way that we, we tend to embrace an ethical relativism when we want to do what we want to do, while reverting to a view of ethics that affirms a transcendent standard when someone wants to do to us what we don't want them to do, in the same way, our skepticism about the capacity to know the truth uh, tends to be uh, off balance. That is, we tend to think that uh, I can know the truth, but when you say something I disagree with, then I'm going to try to take the tack that you can't really know the truth. Well, is it the big Lebowski who, among his many famous lines, was wont to say, well, yeah, that's just your opinion, man. Well, it's absolutely true that affirming something is no evidence that what you affirm is true. But it's also true that affirming that I've affirmed something is no evidence that it's false. What we have to do is the work of testing our truth claims. I know one thing for sure, for absolute certainty, there's no guessing about it. I know that you can't have a square that is a circle at the same time. I know for absolutely certain that A cannot be A and not A at the same time and in the same relationship. Don't you? Now, there may be other things that are maybe more difficult to know for certain, and there may be things we don't know for certain. But it's a very different thing to say, we don't know this for certain, and to say we can't know anything for certain. Do we guess sometimes? Absolutely. I don't know for certain whether uh, Socrates ever actually lived. I don't know for certain whether Plato actually lived. I don't know for certain whether Aristotle actually lived. A pretty good idea, but I don't know for certain but I live in light of my belief that it's probably so. There's a distinction in philosophy between what we call philosophical certainty and practical certainty. Philosophical certainty being absolute and complete certainty. There are things we can be certain of. There are other things we can have a great deal of confidence in. One thing we can know for certain, however, is that the claim that we can know nothing for certain is a claim to know something for certain. And it's inherently self-referentially absurd. It's contradictory. It's a square circle. It's not possible. Are we guessing all the time? No. Sometimes? Yes. 
but not all the 